One of your first grade students, Aaron, is really struggling in math this term and has failed to master several math standards. So you've scheduled a meeting with his parents to discuss his difficulties. You're going to use the Student View Pages in PowerTeacher Pro to review Aaron's academic information with his parents during the meeting but you also want to send them home with a printout that includes his final grade and assignment scores. Run the individual student report to create the printout you need. On the PowerTeacher Start page, click PowerTeacher Pro. The student is struggling with math, so open the menu at the top of the PowerTeacher Pro window and select First Grade Math. On the left side of the window, click Reports. Then select Individual Student Report. On the Criteria tab, define the information that will appear on the report. First, edit the default report title. Since you selected the first grade math class before you navigated to the reports menu, it is already selected for the classes option. You are running the report for a single student rather than all of the students in the class, so select the Students tab. Then add remove students. All of the students are selected by default, so clear the checkbox to the right of the filter area. Then, in the list of students, check the box next to Aaron's name. Continue defining the information on the report by returning to the criteria tab. In the sort options section, use the default selections since you're running the report for only one student. In the data section, Open the Areas to Include menu and check Course Grade Comments and Assignment Comments to include any comments you've entered about the student in the report. Course Grades and Attendance, Assignments, and Category Totals are checked by default. Click the Areas to Include menu again to close it. Next, Verify that Show Percentages and Show Assignments with No Data are selected so that the report includes the student's grade percentages. Since you want to discuss the student's grades from the current term with his parents, use the default settings under Date Range. Since this report is for only one student and you don't need to narrow the amount of information in the report, use the default selections for the data filters. Next, scroll to the top of the page. Then click the Format tab. Use the options on the Format tab to configure how the data will appear on the report. Since you are including all of the available data in the report, leave the page orientation set to Landscape to make the text easier to read. Use the default option of PDF for the report output. Choose to exclude row shading since you want to save ink. Leave the Include checkbox clear for the Top Note option, since you don't plan to include a note at the top of the report. Since you are meeting the student's parents in person, you don't need a bottom note or a signature line. So also leave the Include checkbox clear for the Bottom Note option and the Signature Line option. To generate the report, click Run Report. Depending on how your computer is configured, the report will be saved as a download or it will open in your browser. At the top of the page, you see the report title, the class, the student's name, and your last name. In the body of the report, the final grade section includes the reporting term, along with the student's final letter grade, percentage grade, absences, tardies, and the number of missing, late, and incomplete assignments. The assignment scores section includes the date, category, name, and score for each assignment you created for this class. The score indicators, such as EX for Exempt, that you use to mark any assignments are displayed in the Flags column. The Category Summary section includes each assignment category where you created an assignment and assigned it to the student. This section includes the total points the student earned, the total points possible, and its overall percentage and letter grade for that category. Now you can print the report for the meeting. Remember, to run the individual student report, select the class. Then click Reports and select Individual Student Report. On the Criteria tab, define what information will appear on the report. 
select the students you would like to run the report for on the Students tab. On the Format tab, configure how the data will appear, then click Run Report. You're ready for the meeting with Aaron's parents to discuss his challenges with math so that you can involve them in the remediation plan. And you'll be able to send the report home with his parents so that they can review his math scores in detail.